Hello, this here is Setosama, the fanatic from Team Forbidden, and I'm here to showcase my Yang Zing deck, the third iteration of it, which has all of the members of the archetype in addition to, well, pretty much everything else that you can do with Yang Zings. So let's get started. All right. First card. Three, Jiao Tu. Darkness of the Yang Zing. Extremely important. Level two tuner. Pitch two Yang Zing cards from your hand to the graveyard. Cards, very important. And then you can special summon two different Yang Zing monsters from your deck. One with zero attack, one with zero defense. Sets up synchro plays, sets up any sort of potential plays. A couple of different combos. We can do a combo guide later on that. I'll show some of the various combos you can do with him. Next card, three Chiwen, Light of the Yang Zing. Essentially the other tuner that you need for the deck. Level one goes with anything whenever it dies. I special summon any other Yang Zing from the deck, and you can bring it back from the graveyard as well when any of your other Yang Zing monsters are destroyed. Next up, two Swanee and two Bian, because you got to have the full array of monsters. Swanee is the level four, Bian's level three. Whenever they die, level the summons the Yang Zing monster in defense position, and Synchro monsters summon with Swanee's effect gain 500 attack and defense. Synchro Monster Summoned with Bian can't be destroyed by battle. And then to end the normal Yang Zing monsters, we have Bixie, which makes them immune to traps, Pulau, which makes them immune to spells, and Tauti, which prevents them from changing possession, particularly with Honor Arc or Cyber Dragon Infinity. Next up, what I did not run in addition to this guy, because I was originally running just the lower level monsters because I hated drawing them, are I'm running a little Pendulum Eshin with three Zephyrnin and two Zephraxi. Scales one, scale seven, Pendulum Summon Yang Zing monsters. This one can treat other Yang Zing monsters as tuners, so you can go straight into your synchro place from there. Zephyr uh, Zephyrnin has the special effect where when it dies as a monster, you get a Yang Zing or Zephyr Spell or Trap card from your deck to your hand. Such spell cards can include these, the Oracle of Zephyr, which you play it, you automatically get these guys out. They also have additional effects whenever you Synchro Summon using them, but generally those effects never go off. But whenever you Synchro Summon using any of these guys, you get to put one monster from your deck on top of it and then shuffle and then put that monster on top of the deck major yang zing spell and trap yang zing path you always run three of these if only pot of avarice were legal maybe i could cut it down to two but even then you still run three because shuffle three yang zings back draw two cards next up generic two dark hole and the one regeki Always got to get rid of monsters that are a pain in the butt to your board. Heard any vanities or anything like that. Blow them away. These ones, get your own Yang Zing effects to trigger as well. And I don't run Twin Twisters in this deck because I hate discarding most of the time, so you got to run some spell and trap removal hate, so Mystical Space Typhoon, there it is. As well as one Soul Charge to create super broken plays with various different monsters that you can do you can i've actually had a point where i summoned two boxias and two heralds of arc lights in one turn just because of soul charge trap cards we have two yangs in creation only two because it's not as good as it used to be with the format being as fast as it is but this resolves if you get two of them to resolve you're pretty much set next up Magical Deflector turns off any sort of field spells that the opponent has and quick play spell cards. Yes, you can chain this to Twin Twisters, and Twin Twisters will get negated. Speaking of negating stuff, the Solemn Brigade. Two strikes, one warning. Because why not? Screw pendulums, screw pendulums. Oh, you have a monster effect. Uh, it'd be a shame if I just paid 1500 to negate it. More Pendulum Hate, and triggering my own effects, Tyrannal Tribute. And, of course, you can't have Tyrannal without Bottomless Trap Hole. 
I used to run Compulse in the deck, but unfortunately Compulse is nowhere near as good as it once was. Konami, what are you doing? Bring that card back to three. And then last two one ofs we have, Skill Drain, because it's especially good. I can always synchro summon Boxia with Bixie, and then it's immune to Skill Drain. And meanwhile, all my opponent's monster effects never go off. And just to prevent myself from running out of cards in my deck, say that I run out of Yang Zing Paths, I can always return them to my deck with Jar of Avarice. Next up, Extra Deck. I'm going to go from low to high. Two Herald of Arc Lights. Arguably best level 4 synchro in the game. Tribute it to negate anything. That's usually the only effect that you'll ever play with it. Usually you'll do a Chi Win and a B Win or a Jiao Tu and a Bixie and then you just go from there. Level 5s, we got High Speed Roy Chambara, double attacker that gains attack whenever it attacks anything. I've actually literally stolen games with this card. Armadis is another one. There's a lot of decks that get screwed up by Armadis. You summon it out with 2800 attack, and most of the time there's nothing the opponent can do. For level 6, we have Stardust Charge Warrior. And Red Wyvern. Red Wyvern's there over Goyo Guardian because he's got a much better effect of being able to destroy anything. He doesn't target also, which is also very important. Charge Warrior, summon that out with usually a Jiao and a Swanee, and you got a 2500 beat stick that can attack all special summon monsters once each. And you draw a card when you summon, which is always nice. Next up, we have the generic level 7s. Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon, he's a new addition to the deck. And we also have Clear Wing Synchro Dragon as well. Oh, I don't usually go into him, but he's really nice to have sometimes when you're facing a high level monster deck that uses a whole bunch of effects. And Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon, you can just go nuts off of plays with him. Level 8, we got this guy, Beals. Those of the Diabolic Dragons. I'd run Scarlight if I had it, but Beals is also really nice because it's just immune to destruction, and it's if the opponent has something you can't get over, just attack into it, and then you'll gain the attack points. Really good card. If they're not prepared for it, it can literally steal games on its own. Next, because of all the monsters that we do, we have Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, the Once Forbidden card, which is now back... Not at full force, because that would be too friggin' good, but one Trish, all you need to do generally usually is resolve one, and there you go. And then we have the last five monsters in the extra deck. One Yazi, really good level seven, and generic just pop Yang Zing cards. Combo that you can do with Yazi is you can go Jiao Tu, pitch two cards, and then you summon a Zephyr New, and a Tauti. The opponent has a card that you can pop, you sync with these two, and then pop Zephyr New to then add either Yang Zing Path or Oracle of Zephyr. Then next up, I'm gonna go with the level nine. We have Chao Feng, Phantom of the Yang Zing. Don't always make him, but he's always nice to have. And you make him with the right materials, the opponent can't play. And then, of course, the big boss for the deck, three Boxia, Brightness of Yang Zings. You can make do with two, but it's always nice having the third. And that about does it for Yang Zings. Hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. Go ahead and do whatever you'd like. Like, message, do anything to give us some feedback on the deck. Heck, how to improve it, perhaps. And until then, you have yourselves a fantastic day.